Hi, my name is Marco Cantu, and I welcome you to this uh, video on REST servers built with Delphi XE that I'm presenting on behalf of Embarcadero Technologies. I'm a book author, uh, and you might have heard about my, my books if you are in the Delphi community, and I'm also a consultant and trainer, and you can get information about about what I'm doing on my blog or look for training events I'm doing with Carol Jensen in the spring 2011 at DelphiDevelopersDays.com. Uh, in this first video, we will be building a REST server after having a short look at the REST technology in itself and its support in Delphi. We will go through a wizard and you build a demo based on uh, using this wizard. What is REST? REST is an acronym for Representational State Transfer, and it is not a standard. It is only a kind of a loose architecture that many companies are following in different ways to um, gain the same benefit, having a web service type of call through the internet, communicating to, through, with objects or components, through interfaces based on the unique URLs of these components and using HTTP and stateless communication. In simple terms, uh, REST is based on HTTP as transport protocol and uses generally XML or JSON for the moving data back and forth. Uh, it is really mapped on HTTP as it is. So to pass parameters, you just use URL parameters or send a document and as a response you generally get back full-blown document. Uh, Delphi has a data snap architecture that's been around for many years and has recently been revamped for using either TCP or HTTP and the HTTP version that also allows server-side integration with, with IIS or Apache using the web broker technology uh, this server-side technology is based on having a server class, a server component, the S server, and one or more server classes that act as components that has, act as class factories and will refer to and hook to the specific classes that you really want to create and uh, objects from and invoke their objects. So what I'm going to do now is to use the wizard to guide you through a demo that will include uh, sample HTML pages and JavaScript that the wizard will create. So if we pick the Delphi file new other dialog box, uh, inside the new items um, dialog, we have the option to pick a data snap rest uh, application. This has several features. We can pick which kind of projects and I'm going for a standalone VCL application but I could have picked an ISAPI uh, integrated uh, application. Next we can pick a port for our application and we can test that the port is available. We can ask for authentication or authorization which I'm going to focus in the next video or just go for the uh, sample server methods. And then you can pick a base class, either T component or a data module if we want a surface for dropping non-visual components, but we'll just go for T component for now. And finally, I'll pick a, a folder for the project. Our application has a main form that is just a placeholder for, for uh, to help you in the development and debugging and testing, but of course has no real purpose because we are building a web server application. Then we have the web module that has a rich set of components. We have um, a DS server, the data snap server, and this server has a um, few properties. Uh, nothing special, but is, is useful to kind of glue to keep everything together. We have a web dispatcher. This web dispatcher is the component that connects 
to the request uh, from the, 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 the web, every request coming in with data snap star will actually be filtered by this dispatcher that hooks into the web broker model and will be considered a data snap request. If the URL has the rest term in it, then the request will be considered a rest request. Um, the request will find a matching class and the server class is, as I was mentioning, just a, just a reference to the actual class. And this class is hooked into using this uh, get class event handler. And in this case, it is the uh, server methods one class of this other unit. Uh, this is our target class. This target class has uh, two methods to sample method, echo and reverse string, and you can see they have some simple code. There are other components. There is a web file dispatcher that basically helps serving files uh, like cascading style sheets, and there are a couple of page producer that are actually hooked to the uh, HTML files. Uh, there is the reverse string and this server function in Boca. There's one more component, a proxy generator, that will generate JavaScript for us, will basically take the structure of the server-side classes uh, and generate a JavaScript uh, proxy to simplify calling those uh, methods. Now, if this is the server-side application, we can now run it and if we run the application, what we will get is simply the main form that we can use to start the server going through a firewall. And then we can now open the browser to the given page. So here we are now into the browser and we have our main page. If we click reverse string, we actually perform the specific actions. Uh, the reverse string click operation will make a call to our uh, REST server application. If we take the page and enable the tools for the bugging, we can see that there are multiple calls to this specific URL, which is the URL that we can also manually invoke to execute the reverse string method of the T server methods one server side object inside the data snap rest uh, path. And this is the parameter we are passing for the string. This button is hooked to some JavaScript on reverse string click. And the on reverse string click all it does, it calls reverse string out of this server methods um, helper function. Now, this reverse string function in, inside JavaScript is a function that is generated by the proxy. So as soon as you add more methods to your server side class, you'll get these methods easily available inside the JavaScript code. So from JavaScript, you can just make the call to the same methods with the same parameters that you have implemented on the server in, in Delphi and Pascal. OK, now there is another page that's added automatically. Is this um, server functions page. This page is a debugger tool that lets you explore all the available methods on the server and try to see their parameters and try to call them. And you'll get some, the JSON result right away. That's all for now. Follow the next video to learn more and feel free to get in touch with me at marker.com to gmail.com or follow my Twitter account.